Well, folks, after many, many years uh, and my passion for the caravan industry, I have started the Australian Caravan Museum. Let me take you into the museum and ha have a look around. The first one here, this is a, a seasider. So this van here dates back to about 1942. Um, we found this van in Coffs Harbour and it's absolutely immaculate. I don't even know whether it's ever been used, but on the inside, there is the original paint that the van was painted in. The original tools, the planes and chisels that the, the van was hand built with. Come down this way here. This is one of my favourite vans. This is a Bondwood caravan, which we date back to about no, uh, 1967. This van here, if you can, want to come inside. So what we've got is the original ice box. So throw the ice into here and uh, um, keeps all our food cool. When I got this van, it was a little bit rough on the outside, but the inside was absolutely immaculate. All with the original cooker and sink, an absolute gem for its year. So in the museum, I've been collecting lots and lots of little things over the years, not just caravans. You know, old camper chairs and, and fishing rods and, and uh, tinnies and anything to do with caravanning. Over here, we've got somebody asleep on, a, on an, old, an old camp stretcher that somebody donated to us. We've got little storyboards. So that's a caravan window. Um, that we've put pictures in um, of old caravans and bits of stories. Not only is it caravans, but it's all things RVs. I've got a couple of absolute gems in combis. This particular one, uh, when I got it, it was a second owner. It's a 1972 combi. I found on the compliance plates, and I've dated everything back, the original brown leatherette that's inside. The only thing that's different is the outside colour. It was, uh, if you see it in the flesh, it looks like it was painted with a house brush, but the inside is absolutely magnificent. The little angle fridge, the back lounge in the back that folds down, you've got the pop top roof in it. Here's another one which is a really nice uh, example. We traded this one in, and again, it's absolutely immaculate. Everything's uh, everything's as original. This one here has got a couple of alterations, but we've left them there. But, you know, your furniture, don't watch out for those legs up there. She's having a good time. Now, as you know, Searles RV Centre is in Bundaberg, Queensland, Australia. We had some floods back in 2011 and 2013. When we got through those floods, I found this caravan. It's a fibreglass caravan made in Bundaberg. Now, when I found this out, I had to jump all over it and, and I bought this one. These were actually made here in Bundaberg under license from Sunliner um, in the 60s. This one here, we put it about 1962. But when you go inside, absolutely fantastic. The shapes that they use, the craftsmanship, the woodwork. Now, this is what started the nomadic bug that we have today. And for anyone that traveled when they were kids, you'd look at these and you go, wow, that's fantastic. A lot of the layouts haven't changed. For a van this size, we've just got bigger and we've added more stuff, en suites, all the fancy bits and pieces. Now this one here, this is a van, I was having a beer in Rockhampton with a bloke and we got talking and he, found, he said to me, he said, I've got a couple of vans that you might be interested in. Anyhow, after a bit of a discussion, and uh, I bought both of them off him. Now, this one here, this was found in uh, an old farmhouse in uh, Hopper's Crossing down in Victoria, and they reckon it could be the oldest Franklin caravan that has been made. It was a one owner. Absolutely superb. Have a look at that. This here is an absolute credit to the pioneers of the caravan industry. 
And to think that somebody had kept this in a shed and they'd looked after it, and after all these years of, of, of me wanting to build a collection up and start preserving, and to come across this van, oh, it was absolutely fantastic. But also, along with this van, there was another one. Come and have a look at this. I'm going to start at the back. So when we got talking about having that beer and he tells me about this Franklin and we introduced ourselves and I said the surname, he said, Searle, Searle, he said, I, I know that. Why do I know that name? Now it turns out that he knew somebody that had this van. Have a look at this sticker. Paul Searle Caravans, Port Arlington Road, Moorlap, down in Geelong. This van was sold new back in 1983 um, by my father and again, absolutely immaculate. This van had been kept undercover in a shed. I'm going through the drawers and when I went through the drawers, all the original books, look at this, look at this. Paul Searle, that's his presentation folder. That was his 10th anniversary, so that was, uh, that was, and you look at this, you open up the front cover, Here's the family, here's my father, here's my mother and his sales guys. All the original receipts and all the paperwork, the brochures, absolutely fantastic. So for anybody that's interested, anybody that's got a passion or just wants to have a look at what the old vans were like, come on in and have a look at my museum. It's here on site at Searles RV Centre. Inside the showroom, you're going to have to come up and have a look. I've got a whole lot of little trinkets, anything at all. And if you've got something that you want to donate to the museum and make sure it's preserved and not thrown away, give me a call and I'll organise to get it picked up. Thanks, have a great day.